Hello everyone, my name is Ultimo Camdog, and I will be the commentator for my side in this Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So yeah, let's get started. So here you'll notice that I started off with my Honchkrow instead of starting off with my Dragonite, which I normally use as an anti-lead. And the reason I did that was because uh, I saw that in the little character select screen before the battle that he had a Wobbuffet. And of course Wobbuffet has Shadow Tag and all that, so I was afraid that he would start off with his Wobbuffet and just cripple whoever I sent out first. So I started off with my Honchkrow to just sort of like, uh, freak him out to let him know I had a Honchkrow and of course if he started with his Wobbuffet then I'd be able to counter it. But instead he starts off with his Suicune, and I know it's going to Ice Beam my Honchkrow to death, so I switch out into my Gengar. So, this Gengar, I know, uh, we all know Gengar has bad defenses, but this one's actually a Focus Sash Gengar. So, even if, so even if it was a one-hit KO, Gengar would have been able to, uh, survive that, and I could probably Destiny Bond or something. But he actually survives the Ice Beam pretty well, it doesn't really even do half. So, I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt, I'm like, my Gengar is Thunderbolt, I go for the Thunderbolt, and, uh, the Suicune protects, which was really smart, because he's actually scouting to see if this Gengar has Thunderbolt or not. Gengars are prone to have Thunderbolt. So, here, he does a really good move, and it was really obvious, and I really should have seen this coming, but I didn't, because I'm a giant moron. Uh, what he does is, now that he knows this Gengar has Thunderbolt, he switches out into his Jolteon, which of course has Bolt Absorb, so that means my Thunderbolt worthless. <laughs> and uh, it's a Shining Jolteon, too, yeah. So that's just uh, a screw you to my face. But, uh, yeah. So, he has this Jolteon, and I know it's going to have Thunderbolt, and I don't want to lose my Gengar, because now Focus Sash can't work. So, I switch out to my Dragonite, because even though Dragonite's part flying, the part Dragon part's going to make any Thunderbolt damage into neutral damage. And I know it can take at least one Thunderbolt before going down. So at least maybe I'd be able to extreme speed it, maybe hurt it a lot, and then hopefully think about something to do from there. So, I predict right, he goes for the Thunderbolt, it's my Dragonite, and actually, my Dragonite actually takes it pretty well. Uh, it doesn't even really do, it does almost half, that's still good. So, I figured he's going to Thunderbolt again, so I try to go for Earthquake, but instead he uses the Hidden Power Ice. And, this actually happens quite often online, and I really should start predicting this more. But, uh, anyway, he gets the Hidden Power Ice here, that takes down my Dragonite. And so, now, uh, okay, so now I go into my Honchkrow. And, uh, so what I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to Sucker Punch, and hopefully the Jolteon will fall for it, and I'll be able to take it down. Now, you know, I, uh, I know Honchkrow's not really that popular, so I was hoping that he doesn't know that I'm bandit. But luckily he doesn't. I he probably tried to do Thunderbolt, and I get the Sucker Punch off, take down that Jolteon. And I'm very happy. So now, uh, he's going to go back into his Suicune in a few seconds. And of course, you know, Suicune and Honchkrow, that's not really a good matchup since uh, Suicune is pretty, is pretty defensive. And uh, it also has Ice Beam, which is going to destroy my Honchkrow. So I switch back out into my Gengar. Because I remember Gengar took, out, took the Ice Beam pretty well last time. So hopefully it'll be able to do it again without there being any weird crits or freeze or something like that. So here I am, I switch into the Gengar, and just like I predicted, uh, he uses Ice Beam again. And my Gengar is able to take that and still survive, just barely. So now that my Gengar's almost dead, I decided it's time to Destiny Bond. And of course, you know, uh, even though I have, a, I didn't use my Focus Sash, I'm still in a good position to Destiny Bond, since I know I'm faster than a Suicune with this Gengar. So that's what I do, I get Destiny Bond, and of course he takes the bait, he goes for Ice Beam, and that takes down my Gengar. And thanks to Destiny Bond, that also takes down his full life Suicune, so that was pretty awesome. So, he goes down there, and now we're both down to our last Pokemon. You all know I have Honchkrow, and then, uh... You're all about to find out what he had as his third. Uh, in a few seconds. So there's Honchkrow, being awesome. And he goes into his third Pokemon, which is a Wobbuffet. So luckily I did predict right on the character select screen, and he did have his Wobbuffet. So now I go for Night Slash here. 
because I know Wobbuffet doesn't have any attacking moves, so I can't use Sucker Punch. And I'm just hoping that I get the crit, and I'm, or else like this Wobbuffet's probably gonna counter me and destroy me. And then unfortunately, I don't get the crit. The Wobbuffet survives, and I'm afraid. Oh, he's gonna use counter, and I'm gonna relive that whole terrible capture and counter thing again. But he actually uses Destiny Bond here. And now this is a fun situation because now I'm locked into Night Slash, so I have no choice but to hit him and to speed him, and then we'll both end up dying to Destiny Bond, and this match is gonna just end up being a draw. And there it is. His Wobbuffet goes down, and my Honchkrow goes down because of Destiny Bond. So I guess he gets his revenge on me for taking out his full life Suicune by taking out my full life Honchkrow. So there you go. That's a draw. Uh, that was a good game. That was pretty fun. Short and sweet. But uh, very fun. No, no melodic stalling. I didn't. I didn't even have to use my melodic in this battle, which was nice. And you know, there's the draw. So yeah. Uh, uh, I don't remember if he sw swaps friend passes with me or not. Nah, he didn't. Ah, boo, boo. Don't be so proud. You should be nice. So yeah, there you go. So looking back at this match, it always bothers me because. I know that if my Honchko had done what it's supposed to do, and that is crit with Night Slash on that Wobbuffet, I would have won on that first Night Slash. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't, even though it has my Honchko has super luck and was using Night Slash, but what can you do? So I guess there's only one thing I can say. We didn't win because your reaction time was too slow. See you next time, everybody!